Good morning, folks. Couple notes on our star. A pitifully small incoming sunspot popped a minor CME off of a B flare. Sometimes the sun just throws you a curveball like that. Nothing too scary, though. And then we have a plasma filament departing on the south. Equatorial rope stood firm, but this one began to lift and then changes his mind, sliding back down. As you can see, the flaring never got impressive, and neither did the sunspots. It's a wonder these would be able to make a CME, let alone without more than a B flare, but hey, that's why you watch. The northern coronal hole is almost departed, while the southern opening faced Earth last night for a ramp up in the earthquake factors, as Mercury conjoins the sun pretty much now. By the way, we are still awaiting a coronal hole stream, so not much doing in the solar wind, and our magnetic shield is calm. But speaking of the quake factors rising, top quake of the day was a 6.7 earthquake that struck the southern islands of Alaska overnight, actually hit 7 magnitude on two readers. I've got an article from Dawn on the latest Ceres images. This one focuses just a skew of the bright spots and has some interesting features of its own. We also have an article on more galactic scale filaments. Turns out these Birkeland wannabes are much more common than initially realized. I'm still going to do a deeper look on the rapid scans when they are all done, but until then, I'll keep updating them. Simply amazing ways to watch our world. This is truly the future of weather monitoring. Most of what you're seeing here is from the current rain record breaker still dancing atop the south central states. In GMO news, what if you could genetically modify the modifications out of GMOs to make them more like their ancient species? Would you do it? Link found below. Along with the announcement of more companies joining the push towards avoiding GMOs in their products. I'll stay silent and crank the beat for the weather so you can see if you've been watching close enough to see the patterns between the wind drive and the storm alerts or cloud masses. I've also got some shots of our star to close. It's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.